Yo, what's the story? In front of me is a bunch of GoPro accessories that could well be the best, well-built and most useful GoPro Hero 12 accessories that you can get right now. Or maybe they're not, but uh, let's find out. First up, thanks to PG White Tech for sending me all of these. And if you've been anyway, kind of a long time person, subscriber on the channel, you will know that, well, there's one of these here. This is a different version, but there's one of these here that I did not have a good experience with. This is a Mantis Pod. I don't think PJ White has seen my video about the original Mantis Pod, but this one is geared towards GoPros. Is it any better than the other one? We're all about to find out. So let's start with this one. And then there's something here that, well, it petrifies me but it looks insane. Now, the Mantis Pod, essentially what this is, is a handheld tripod, but a lot of functionality. I gotta be honest, kids, I didn't like the original one. In fact, I hated it. I sent it back. But this is geared towards GoPros. I know people are going, well, you're probably gonna big this up because you got it for free. Uh, no, but I gotta say, this does feel a little bit more substantial than the other one. I'm not saying it's better, but it does feel a little bit more substantial. It doesn't feel cheaply built. The last one, the camera one, the one that Peter McKinnon convinced me to buy. Yeah, I, I did not think that was worth the price tag. I need somebody to help me to clean this up. The good thing with these accessories is they come with a GoPro mount, so I'm forever losing these, but it comes with it. Now, we've got a quick release plate up here. So this comes on and off, quite small, easily lost. But I gotta say, right, first impressions here are this This thing actually does feel, if I can open it, this thing feels substantially well built. A lot better than the last one. Now, essentially, something like this is going to give you a huge amount of reach on the GoPro. Now, the GoPro lens is wide enough as it is, but this is just something that's just going to give you a little bit more. That is pretty way too wide i think for me anyway it might be good for you guys but yeah pretty huge length and the fact that this is actually useful you've got tripod legs in here this is useful and you can uh tighten and loosen this to whatever way you want this is the mantis pod z by the way we can uh, position this whatever way we want and of course once we loosen the bullet here the camera rotates around and we can extend this all the way out there is a hook option here. It was in the original Mantis pot as well, which seemed to be okay. It's uh, once you figure out how to kind of set it up, the, the hook is kind of ingeniously in one of the main legs here that you can flip out and uh, then you can do your, do your thing. So there is, I gotta be honest, I did spend a couple of minutes looking at the instructions to figure out the uh, correct positioning on this. I just don't like trusting gear, even if it's solid and well-built gear sometimes. That's just, precariously hooking onto stuff the hook isn't huge but it's it's a good option to have overall for me um i probably would use this i don't think you need that length on a gopro but depending on the stuff that you're shooting you may well need that extra length i'm just not a fan of the mantis pod to be honest uh like this is way better than the first one but it's it's still just like cumbersome to use that's just me. That's just my opinion. It may well suit you because lots of folks said they absolutely love the other one, but this is definitely an improvement. This is the Mantis Pod Z. It's definitely an improvement over the uh, last one. Speaking of stuff that you need to use to kind of extend your GoPro, this is the Cap Lock Action Camera Extension Pole. Gotta say, PJ White Tech's packaging is solid as this just fell out. You do get a sticker and other. Uh, like their GoPro mounts, to be honest, they're really solid. This will do any action camera. So anything that's got a quarter inch tread, this is the one that you use, or you can just use the uh, the GoPro mount here and slot it in and we're good to go. I gotta be honest, this isn't a PG Y Tech thing. It's a Vic thing. And I know GoPro have invented this, the GoPro mount. I absolutely hate it with a passion. I hate it, hate it, hate it. The fact that there's no quarter inch tread in here means that you can use this, or as I said earlier on, any other action camera. So we uh, loosen the little ball head here, so this can go around. We can even go fully down vertical like that. And of course, if we need to, we can kind of change around our GoPro. But for me, here, the legs, right? Nice grip, mini little tripod. And then if we just pull up, boom, we have 
an extension pole, which is really nice thing to have. And the fact that it's so kind of compact, and again, you can get way more reach than you need for the GoPro, but I think this is probably a way better option as far as I'd be concerned if I was bringing this out. It's probably an easier fit in the bag. It's lighter. And of course, it has the added functionality of tripod legs. Now, the one downside with any kind of extension pole is that once you have tripod legs on it, it does get a little bit unstable. And this is no more stable or no more unstable than anything else in the market. I wouldn't trust it in wind, but uh, other than that, it's, it's pretty solid. The fact that you have an extension pole just allows you to get different angles. The fact that there's a good grip here means that it doesn't really feel like it's going to fall out of your hand. It's got a good build quality. It does feel quite solid. You have the mounts and the flexibility of the ball head, which really allows you to get different shots and kind of, you know, helps you do whatever you need to do. So, yes, that is a nice win. We still got something here that I don't care what they say. They petrify me. But we'll get to that towards the end of the video. Now, if you've got helmets and stuff like that, there's the action camera helmet mount from PG White Tech. There's also a handlebar mount. And then there's the uh, magnetic mount. So obviously, folks, magnetic gear makes things so much easier, unlike these boxes, then I'm a savage. <clears throat> so the magnetic mount, obviously, we have got this pretty Hef wow, this is incredibly heavy. This magnetic mount here, I mean, okay. Let's see what we can uh, stick this onto. Pull. Two hands. You pull it straight off, it's wedged. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we have that flexibility where we can use the quarter inch tread here for the GoPro 12, or you can swap it out for the GoPro mount for the other older GoPros, or again, as I said, because it's quarter inch tread, you can use whatever you want on it, which is a nice thing to have. I've experimented with something like this before. It wasn't from PG White Tech. I'm not sure who it was from. It was like some cheapo thing off of Amazon. But this is the Caplock Action Camera Neck Mount. But this is an interesting one. And instantly, once you pick this up, I gotta say, this is streets ahead of what I had in the past. So this is a very premium feeling cable that is going to uh, go around your neck. Also in here, if we want more stability, we can actually put on these uh, chest straps which attach in here as well, which we're gonna take a look at, but essentially we are gonna get this on and uh, wow, it even fits around my delicate neck. The last one didn't and we are, we're good to go, which is a really, really good POV. As you can see, this can give you some really fun stuff and because it's not wedged around your neck and I've got a big neck, you have that more flexibility here. So it's very natural to just reach down, twist the GoPro uh, key lock mount thing and you can move this around so you can get a better angle. Now with that said, it is probably a little bit hard to see, but that's with any neck mount, so that's why you use the GoPro app on your phone to position this and away you go. How do I get it off? How do I get it off? Does it come off? Well, looks like we're gonna to have to live with this forever. I <laughs> should have looked at how this comes off. It's stuck, hang on. Just get it off, please. Nope. Oh, hang on, hang on. There you go. <laughs> I'm starting to panic. <laughs> There's a tiny little button right at the bottom here that uh, that does that. Oh, that would have been hilarious. The PGY Tech guys are definitely going, yeah, this guy's gone. Ain't no way in hell. But this is a live unboxing. Haven't read the instructions. Oh, I've just literally started ripping stuff open. On to the, uh, the last one here that, that absolutely petrifies me. And there's a good reason this will petrify you as well. This thing is a three arm suction mount now essentially this will stick to things like your car like to glass and uh yeah i mean it's fine if it's sticking to your windscreen right on the inside but if it's uh sticking to anything else on the outside of your car that just makes me nervous now we are going to test this pj white tech you will owe me a gopro 12 if this thing falls off Instantly, right, from the box alone, this is a heavy piece of kit. So 
we do get this nice bag. This thing is, is heavy duty. We can position these, which is nice. Like the actual GoPro version of this, you can get just the one suction cup one, which has worked, but it's, it's just, you don't get to angle it anywhere. It's just like one and doom and it's on. But this, these legs, these suction cups do have some capability of moving around. All right, let's wedge this onto the car and see what happens. As you can see, everything was a okay, but it just still makes me nervous. But when you have three kind of points of contact here, it's a lot better than than just one. In fact, a lot of the Hollywood mounts would you always use three points of contact. So this will really allow you to get different angles, especially if you're a moto vlogger. You can just get onto the windscreen, as you've seen on the outside of the car, on top of the car. But the thing that that should that did instill a bit of confidence in me is you just hear, listen to that. So there's that satisfying kind of thunk. So yeah, that, that shouldn't still confidence in you uh, straight away. PJ Whitech have sent me all this stuff. They didn't say Vic. You gotta send it back. Maybe they did. They'll have to fix the boxes though. But they didn't offer any money. There is no money exchange hands. They just asked me, can you make a video? Uh, and let us know what you think. And so these are my honest opinions on these. Um, and I think it's all well and good for me to say you need this, this, and this. You probably only need one or two of these things. You might need everything. But I guarantee you there's probably one or two things here that will help you make better content. And the fact that it'll just help you make get better shots. It will not help with a better story. That's, that's up here. But if you have an idea, there's stuff here that may well help you execute that more efficiently or better. And more importantly, it'll cause less stress. And if you have one less thing to worry about or get stressed out about when it comes to making vids, then you can concentrate on what really matters. And if you're here for a while, you know by now, that's the story. All of these will work on the GoPro Hero 12 and on other GoPros as well. You have a choice of the two mounts or other action cameras. These are not specific to GoPro. These are specific to any action camera, essentially, because you have so many different mounting options here. But what I will say when it comes to the GoPro Hero 12, this video here will absolutely teach you how to master all of the complicated video settings in one video. You will nail it all. So check that out and I'll see you on the next video. All right, somebody help me tidy this up.